Hey there, I'm Sanketa and welcome to Vertical Dots video editing series. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can adjust or duck background music against dialogue, sound effects or any other music in just one minute. I have this sequence opened on the timeline. This is my previous tutorial sequence. So here is my background music on the audio track 3. On audio track 2, I have voiceover. And on audio track 1, I have my piece to camera audio and also the soundtrack of logo animation. Right now you can see the background music's audio is too loud. And then again you will select the fit, right? But now if you are using Premiere Pro, you can't hear the dialogue or other audio clearly. To adjust the background music's volume according to your voiceover or dialogue, you will need to add keyframes to audio track to duck the background music against dialogue or any other music. And you will need to do that all the way to the end. Sounds like a lot of work, right? Well, you can do that in just one minute. How? Let's see. Go to your audio workplace. You will see essential sound panel open on your right hand side. First, we will need to tell Premiere Pro that these are dialogue clips. These are also dialogue clips. This is another music track. In order to do that, we will need to tag those clips. See here, it says, assign a tag to the selection to enable editing options based on the audio type, like dialogue, music, sound effects or ambience. On audio track 2, I have my voiceover. So I will select all those clips together and I will tag them as a dialogue. Then I will select my piece to camera audio from audio track 1 and tag them as a dialogue. And I will tag this as music. That's my logo animations music. Now last, we will select our background music and tag it as a music. And here we will check the box for ducking. Here we can choose the audio type that we want background music to duck against. Duck against dialogue clips, music, sound effects, ambience clips. And if you didn't assign any tag to your audio clips, then you can click on this option. It will duck background music against all the other audio clips that you have on the timeline. We have dialogue clips and another music clip, so I will choose these two options. You can adjust the sensitivity, duck amount and fades. I will explain this in a bit. For now, let's try with these default numbers. To create keyframes, you will need to click on this generate keyframes. Wait for a couple of seconds. And there you go. See, it created all these keyframes for you. If you want, you can adjust these keyframes. Like here, I don't want any background music when logo animation is playing. So I will just pull this line down. You can adjust the sensitivity. That means, if you choose the higher number, it will be more sensitive to the dialogue or any other audio clip and it will duck the background music against it. Let's start the highest number that is 10. Click on generate keyframes. So whenever you make changes in sensitivity, duck amount or fades, always remember to click on generate keyframes in order to make changes. See, it didn't miss any clip. It ducked the background music against all the other clips. But if you choose the lower number, then it will be less sensitive to the dialogue. Let's try with the zero sensitivity. Click on generate keyframes. See, it didn't duck the background music against all these voiceover clips. So at the higher number, it will be more sensitive and at the lower number, it will be less sensitive to the dialogue or other audio clips. With the duck amount, you can adjust the volume of the background music. Like how much you want to duck your background music. Some people like their background music little louder. So if you want it little louder, then lower this number. Let's try with minus 12 dB. Click on generate keyframes. We will lower the opacity a little bit so that we will be able to see the text under it. Now see it increased the background music volume. 
but I like my background music softer so people can hear dialogues clearly. I keep it at minus 18 dB. You can set it accordingly. With this one you can set fair timing and duration. You want fast fair or slow fair. I like to keep it at 800 milliseconds because I don't want my music fade in fade out very quickly between these small gaps. Like if I set it to 200 milliseconds, Look here, music is kicking in between all these small gaps. I will use the red color for the text. Let's also add shadow. Change the size. Music is fading in, fading out very quickly. It's very annoying. So, set it to the higher number. Hope you understood how it works. Give it a shot. It will definitely save a ton of your time. I hope you liked this video and learned something new. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your comments below. I have more video editing tutorials on my channel that you can follow. Bye for now. See you next time.